Saturday night Oh shit. We're all dead. What up, people? Real CS. Got a couple of things to talk about today. Uh, one, uh, I think it's a serious problem with the close quarters package, the auto assist, the aim assist, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't really have a problem with people using it. I think it's kind of douchey, and what's the point of playing a game if it's just going to assist for you? But um, I don't have a problem with people using it. I just want to know who's using it. Right? I'm a, I'm a person who doesn't use it. I don't like it. I don't like a computer dictating where my bullets are gonna go or where my aim's gonna go. I'd rather, you know, determine that for myself. I find I get a lot more headshots when I'm not using it, right? So, all in all, I think it's a, uh, I think it's something that, um, hinders my gameplay, but, you know, for other people, you know, it, it may boost their gameplay, but it's obviously gonna have a bigger effect in close quarters than it already has. I've already seen it. And um, I just, I, I, I would like them to at least, if they're not going to take it out of the DLC, which obviously they're not going to because then nobody would play it, but, um, I, I, well, a lot of people wouldn't play it because I feel a lot of people are using aim assist. Um, but what they should do is they should do exactly the same as um, what they do with the headshots and give you a little target symbol beside your name when you get headshotted so that way you know the reason why you died so quick. And I think it would be awesome if they put a, a little symbol in there to tell us that uh, Amosis was used when killing us. I think it's fair. Um, I think it's a, you know, just a, a good thing to put in. I, I think it would be a good thing. Uh, next, um, I just, uh, I read an article and uh, it was talking about how the aftermath was supposed to be post um, Tehran earthquakes. So there should be a bunch of, you know, insurgents running around and stuff, and you're trying to, like, you know, keep everybody calm. And, and the reason why I say everybody is because I think they might put civilians in this. I remember them talking about it before the game came out, that it was debatable whether or not to put civilians running around and stuff as, you know, kind of like obstacles or something like that. And, and people were talking about how... Uh, oh, it's not good because people will just start killing the civilians and stuff, but if you put a, uh, um, you know, if you get some sort of team kill, like you get a, a subtraction from your points, you know, like minus 10 or 20 or 30 or 50 points, then people will be more inclined to use them for what the game is trying to put them into the game for, as opposed to just running around and shooting civilians. But um, also I heard that in end game there will be motorcycles and I think that that could be awesome I like motorcycles I like jets I like things like that and uh, I think that would be honestly very very awesome so um, yeah so that's pretty much all I wanted to say uh, overall I do like the new DLCs the maps look absolutely awesome I think that they're well designed and uh, they you know they They'll make some good uh, gameplay, some good uh, montages, some good gameplay coming up. Don't worry. I just uh, had a lot of things on my plate, so. Um, but yeah, the uh, videos will be coming shortly. Don't worry. Laying out some C4! 